okay, this is your warning. This is, I'm just warning you, this is not, this is not going to look good. If you get grossed out by, by bruises and cuts and bangs and all that kind of stuff, not bangs, but you know, if you get grossed out by people's bodies being hurt, you want to turn this off now. Here we go. Uh, oh my gosh. I can barely open my eye. <laughs> so this is a dad story. I shouldn't laugh because it actually hurts my face. This is a dad story. Here I am in beautiful New York City. I'm out here in my neighborhood. My apartment's right over there. And yesterday, I came home from work. I came home a little early, and I said, son, let's go throw the baseball. I've got three boys. I've got a 13-year-old, a 9-year-old, and a 5-month-old, who I'm hopefully going to be able to finish this video before his nap is over, and I have to go grab him because it's today's my off day. But um, I say, let's go throw the baseball. I go outside. We're throwing the baseball. Another kid joins in. We're having a great time. Then all of a sudden, um, my, my kid is on a travel team. He, he throws probably about 60 miles an hour. He's, he's a monster. All of a sudden, I turn around and a baseball, boom, hits me right in the eye. Now, this is the third time this has happened. Um, uh, a while back, I got hit in the head by a ball that he threw from a million miles away. Sorry, Dad! I'm sorry! Out of all, just how could he have possibly hit me right in the head? I was even moving um, and, not, and, and I wasn't looking. He threw the ball. And then yesterday, I get hit right in the face, obviously. Um, and then Christmas Eve, between my church's uh, Christmas Eve services, I played a service. I said, hey, honey, let me take the kids out and give you a break for a little bit before this next service starts. I go out. He throws a ball, hits me right in the ankle. I'll show you a photo real quick. Again, it's not pretty. My ankle still hurts to this day from that. That was a couple years ago. Um, the, kid, the kid throws so fast. But yesterday I'm out here. He didn't check to see that I was looking. It happens all the time, but rarely does it go right into your face. Um, I turn, boom, ball hits me right in the face. Here's where we're at. Right over here at this park. Am I getting everything? It's kind of hard for me to see. Um, that's my building right there. We were throwing right over there. Love living here because, oh, oh boy, oh boy. Now I'm in trouble. I moved, <laughs> moved to the camera. Oh, there we go. Uh, love, uh, sorry for the close up shot of my eye. We love living here because we have this amazing space that we get to play at, you know, because in New York, nobody has a backyard. And it's so fun. And sometimes stuff like this happens, but it's a real dad moment because to be honest with you, he came up to me, he's in tears. Dad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm in an incredible pain. Ah. And I literally turned to him and I looked at him and I said, I need you to move away from me right now. So I was furious. I was, I was, I was in pain. I was bleeding. There was blood pouring into the mask that I was wearing. Safety first, except for this. Um, he comes up again, Dad, I'm so sorry. I said, I need you to move away from me right now. And I've got to be honest with you, it hurt and everything, but I was more just like, oh my gosh, I could feel my face swelling up. Then we walk back up towards our apartment to go inside because I'm like, I got to put some ice on this thing. I walked towards a friend and my other son was out there with us and I said, Hey, Joan, do you mind watching uh, uh, Finn for a little while? And she turns, she goes, sure. Oh, my God, what happened? Sees my face swelling up like this. It actually wasn't this bad yesterday, but now it is what it is. I take him upstairs, and in the elevator, he's like, Dad, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I said, Declan, I don't want to talk about this right now. I just don't want to. And it was this moment where I just, I just decided I wasn't going to freak out. And... Even now, I'm realizing this is going to take forever to look right. I'm not going to be able to make YouTube videos that look halfway decent for quite some time. But at the same time, I wouldn't give up playing with my kids for anything. It is so fun just to be able to be a part of their lives, whether it's inside playing Roblox and Magna Tiles and Legos and reading books, or outside throwing the baseball or kicking the soccer ball or having a picnic or whatever. So this is kind of my life. <laughs> this is me now. This is my life now. 
I'm embracing it. This is why you may not see me on YouTube for a little bit, but a few of you were asking, how are you doing? And I wanted to kind of give you the update. Oh, I did um, immediately go to the doctor. They said, we're gonna write you a, a script to go get an X-ray. I think they actually just called me. I gotta call them back. Got an X-ray done, taken all the proper steps. But I mean, it just kinda, it is what it is. And I still wouldn't give up playing with my kids for anything. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon. This is just a quick update. It's freezing and big day. I filled out my coffee card, so I get a free coffee today. So my camera's about to fall over, and I'm going to get a coffee. And, um, yeah, pray for my face. It hurts. Bye.